In today's Circle of Health report, Kate Middleton and Olivia Munn's cancer diagnosis spotlight a troubling trend, an increase in cancer in young adults under 50. Colon cancer in this population is steadily on the rise. And because it's so rare, our Denise Dador shows us the obstacles that young patients are having to overcome. Whether it was chemo or radiation, Melissa Valenzuela felt alone. Here I am, a 29-year-old girl. Most of the time, I was the youngest person in that room. Diagnosed with colon cancer in 2021, so young with no family history nor risk factors, it's why Melissa downplayed symptoms of severe constipation and cramps. I didn't have health insurance at the time, so I decided to self-medicate, um, kind of just thought, well, it'll go away. They have a school, they have work, they have family and all of those things, so they put off the symptoms. City of Hope medical oncologist Dr. Afsani Barzi says that's the first barrier, but once young patients do seek care, cancer is usually the last thing a primary care or ER physician suspects. They treat them for common conditions, being an abdominal cramp, a gastroenteritis, you know, with months and months of delay. Melissa's cancer had spread to other organs. Dr. Barzi says what saved her was advocating for herself seeking second opinions and finding a hospital that specializes in the care she needed. It was very uncommon to have a patient under the age of 30 being diagnosed with colon cancer. Nowadays, it's becoming more and more common. But why could it be plastic chemicals, overprocessed foods, antibacterial products changing our gut microbiome, all theories being studied? Looking at the change in the statistics, I would say it's definitely an environmental factor that has changed, that has resulted in rising incidence in younger patients. Being aware may help you make better choices. That's what Melissa hopes. Don't put your health on the back burner. I know it's really easy to do that because we're so busy nowadays really, really important to put health first. Today, she's cancer-free and looking forward to the rest of her life.